In this video, I'm going to show you the holy grail of day trading, aka price action. What is it? Why it matters. And I'm going to show you why there are no indicators or system on earth that will ever, ever hold a candle to my dino bars. Now, I know I'm going to get a shit ton of emails, text messages, phone calls from you guys on making these outrageous claims. But guess what? You should demand to see proof anytime somebody makes an outrageous claim. And guess what? That's why I'm doing this video. So let's do this. What's up, people? Mark here at Dino Trading. Let's get right to it. This is the chart that you are trading. This, on the other hand, is the same chart that I am trading. Okay? If you have any common sense at all, I will let you figure out which is the better chart to trade. Okay? So we're looking right now at the Euro versus the New Zealand. For those of you that know anything about me or have watched even a few minutes of any of my YouTube videos, you'll know that the Euro versus the New Zealand is my freaking market, right? I own that market. I own that currency pair. There is nobody on earth that's going to trade the Euro versus the New Zealand better than me. Now, full disclosure, I can show the most simplistic color-coded system to a thousand people and half of them will still argue with me and debate me on, hey, this didn't work here. Hey, this didn't work over there. Well, folks, listen. If you're looking for a system that has 100% accuracy, X out this video and find another video to watch. Right? For those of you that know me, I've told you repeatedly, this system is going to work more often than not. While there is no such thing as the Holy Grail, this system comes pretty damn close. I'll show any one of you a live screencast of your market, just contact me, You've, you know my email, you know my phone number. But I have nothing to hide with the system. Uh, I'm trying to do people a personal favor by changing, by forcing them to change their trading habits. That's the only reason I invented the dino bars, right? Okay. So let's get into this. This is a trade I took right after I came back from dinner. Chicago time sometime around eight or nine o'clock and that was it folks you were short the entire session on the Euro New Zealand no longs whatsoever until this very last bar printed here at 12 p.m. you know call it lunchtime Chicago time which point there's really not much action happening in the Euro anyway okay so I'm going to show you my exact entry on how I nailed the absolute top of this trade and I shorted it all the way down. You're going, you're going to call me out on this and I'm going to laugh at you for trying to call me out on this. Okay? This system freaking works, folks. So stop questioning me stop sending me your stupid emails about hey why doesn't it work here why doesn't it work there send me the instrument you want to see and i'll do the same thing i'm doing now which is record a sweet kick-ass video just for you personally so you don't think i'm full of shit okay now i'm going to show you so now let's get into the trade that i took all right now the first thing i like to do is what folks right you got to have the split screen. You got to have the dino bars on the left and the T bars on the right, right? That's just that's just how I uh, that's just how I have my system set up. I recommend it for everybody. Uh, always have a top to bottom approach in trading, but again, that works for me. So, let's take this step by step. We got a nice short signal right there at 5:45 p.m. Chicago time right? That's it. That was the short signal. There were no long signals the entire session, right? So what do I do, 
right? I want to plot my zones on the T-bar chart, right? We're plotting uh, 247 and 233. All right, let's go ahead and do that. 247 and 233. Right there and right there. And that's it, folks. Now you have the zones, right? What's step two? For those of you that have seen my videos, you should know the answer to this. Now, for those of you that have not seen my videos, you may have to watch that because I'm not going to get too I'm not going to get too deep into my setups. Um, there was like a 48-minute video I already put on YouTube for free to illustrate my exact setups. Uh, so I'll try to cover as much ground as I can here. Okay? We wait for price to get back into the zone, and we want to plot what? The pivots, right? Now I teach people there's only two pivots you can plot and now this depends on your personality type. Are you conservative or are you aggressive? And even that question is not enough. The other question is how well do you know your market? Right? Maybe there's some times where you have to be aggressive in your market even though you're a conservative trader. And, may, and vice versa, right? So anyway, as an example, I'm always conservative. For those of you that know me, like I would rather make, I would rather make little money than lose a lot of money. So, give you an example of what rising pivots are. This is rising. This is rising. This is equal. This is rising. This is rising. This is rising. This is rising. Kaboom! There's one that's falling, right? That is now the trend line we have to draw. All we do, we connect those points right there. Now you have a trend line. And now you're waiting for that trend line to break as long as there's no additional rising pivots that form. Right? Now what what do you see right here? What do you call this one here, folks? Right? Let's let's zoom in here so you guys can can, can see this clearly. Kaboom, that's a rising pivot. So what does this mean? Now we got to start all over again. Everything that we've drawn on the chart is no longer valid. So let's go ahead and erase everything, right? Now it's back to square one, right? All right, so now that we've removed all of our pivots, we got to start drawing the trend line again, right? So now, so now try to follow along here, right? Rising pivot, rising pivot falling pivot right what do you do well you connect you draw the trend line again right so now we got to squeeze we got to reach all the way back and draw this is our point two we got to find our point one which is all the way down here simply draw that trend line and you're done folks if you just wait it becomes a waiting game trend line is drawn right trade gets filled short trade gets filled right there a little after 8 30 p.m chicago time stop goes in right there six pip stop you can't fucking beat that right and folks look what happened the rest of the session There you have it. This happens every single day in the market, at least in my market. I have no idea what instruments you trade. I, I, I recommend uh, you look at the Euro New Zealand a lot more closely uh, if you have never been paying attention to it before. But, you know, we're talking almost 200 pips, right? We're talking like... spell this out for you here 200 pips one day right so why do I have to keep talking anymore right I don't like talking right I like to just show show you that this works 
show you that it works every fucking day, right? Don't second guess yourself. Don't start panicking about trading. Listen, trading is as simple as you make it out to be. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. As long as you have the right set of tools, as long as you're disciplined, and above all else, as long as you're patient, you're going to make a boatload of money in the Forex market. Okay? So, folks, let's go back to the Dino Bars chart. All right? Let's, let's bring this into focus here. I just want you, I want you to just stare at this chart. Do you think you could trade this chart? Right? Versus the chart that you're currently using to trade, which is this one. Okay? Do you think that you could trade and trade profitably this chart? Right? For May 16th. Let's go back a couple of, let's, let's go to the beginning of the week. All right, let's go a couple couple days back. All right, let's go to this one here. Same instrument, Euro New Zealand. Okay. Do you think you can trade this chart? Right. Do you think you'd be able to spot this bullish signal here, 8:30 p.m. Chicago time, and do you think you would have been able to trade this chart profitably? for the duration of this Forex session, this daily session on the Euro versus the New Zealand. Folks, I'm going to let you answer that question. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video. Please do me a personal favor and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, best trading wishes.